Hello, my name is Donna, and we're here on the beautiful Midmark stage with one of our animal ambassadors. This is Luke. If you're a frequent visitor to the Discovery Zoo, you've seen Luke before. He's one of our, our cute and cuddly guys that are, live right outside the zoo in the vet hospital area. And we brought him out today because, well, one, come on, he's pretty adorable, right? I wanted to share him with everyone. I'm a self-confessed bunny hugger. I'm not ashamed to say it. How can you resist that face? And we come out, we bring him lots of, we give him lots of cuddles and snuggles all the time. But you know what? We also want to bring out Luke to highlight a couple different things about bunnies, because sometimes people just see that adorable face and they kind of don't realize some of the challenges that might go along with that. We are a big advocate here of everybody choosing their pets wisely. You're gonna hear us say that all over and over again in many of our presentations, because oftentimes people will get a pet and maybe not do all the research that they should. So the number one thing you're gonna hear us talk about is just researching your pets. The first thing I'm gonna talk about about him, <laughs> I'm gonna talk about it first is because it's pretty obvious that he is just a, a shedding fool right now. I, this, this shirt was, was black before we started the presentation and I don't know if you can see all the fur flying around, but he is shedding right now and they do that about twice a year. And you might, it looks like he's got little tufts hanging out and all these little fur, that's all gonna come out. And sometimes for people with these guys as pets, that can certainly be something that they don't they don't like in their home, especially if you have allergies or if you just don't like cleaning up fur all over your furniture and your home. That's something that comes with owning a rabbit. Now, at 10 years old, Luke is a little bit on the older side, and many people might be surprised about that as well. They might think, oh, you know, how long do they live? And, and they might not think that they live that long, but 10 years is a long time to have a pet. So whatever your future plans hold, you wanna make sure that you can include your pet with that, those plans and give them the forever home that they deserve, no matter what kind of pet it is, whether it's a dog, a cat, a lizard, a snake, a bunny, make sure that you can keep that animal for their, for their forever home. Now, Luke here, as I mentioned, he is 10, but he could live to be uh, like 12 or even 13. Our amazing keeper staff are always monitoring Luke and making any adjustments that he needs to have as he gets older. For example, just like you and I, we wanna watch out for his vision. And even right now, we're starting to soften some of his food, for example, because as he gets a little bit older, his teeth are starting to not look so great and we actually give him a lot of softened food right now. So he just gobbles that up, no problem, and he's gonna hopefully live a nice, long, healthy life with all the adjustments that we make. Now, one thing about rabbits also, they do have their place in the animal kingdom, In the wild animals, as we know, are prey items for lots of other animals, so they're part of the circle of life. In many different species, rabbits are a very important food source for many different animals. I'm gonna hold his ears for that part. And we need, we need these guys out there to stay healthy and happy out in the wild because again, they are a very important part of that circle of life. Don't worry about that, Luke. You're, you're gonna be fine here in your, in your home. Now the big ears that you see on a rabbit also obviously help him to hear, those help him to actually turn in different directions to capture sounds in different directions, but they actually act like a built-in air conditioner as well. They have veins that go through their ears and that actually helps to collect the cooler surface area temperature and helps cool down his entire body. It's like a built-in air conditioner. I can tell you when I lived in Florida, I wish I had one of those, uh, but Luke does have that and that helps to keep him cool as well. Now having a bunny, you might think, oh my gosh, it's so easy to feed them. You just give them the pellets that you see in the store, the rabbit chow. But you know what? You might be surprised to know that they actually have quite a involved diet that involves a lot of fruit and vegetables. And this guy eats way better than I do. I'm not a great vegetable eater, but it's really an important part of their diet to give them a great variety of fruits and vegetables, leafy greens, his favorites, of course, are the sweeter fruits, just like we like the grapes and the apples, but he only gets a little bit of those as a treat. Mostly lots of the, the vegetables, such as carrots and even yam and uh, a little bit of zucchini are some of his favorites. Now, also hay 24-7, that might be something that you're surprised to know as well. And of course, keeping that water bowl fresh is really important as well every single day. And then cleaning up their litter box is not always a pleasant job. I can tell you that rabbits have one of the most, mm, I'm just gonna say smelly litter boxes that I've encountered as far as cleaning up animals. Uh, and many people don't like that in their home, that smell in their home. So most people often after they find out that the rabbits are as smelly as they are with their litter, they'll house them outside in a hutch. 
And that's always not the best environment either because they can be very sensitive to weather conditions, cold and heat. And they, as you can see, he loves to be snuggled and petted. And sometimes just being outside in a hutch might not always be the best idea for them. So just keep all those things in mind. We don't say he's a good pet or a bad pet. We just want to say research your pets and make sure he's the best choice for you. As you can see, Luke is quite comfortable here at the Discovery Zoo. We hope he's one of your favorite animals as well. Be sure to visit him when you visit our Midmark stage. He'll be waiting for you. And thank you for joining us today. Have a great adventure today. Bye-bye.